and p content div it is equal to div gpt line height 0 px font size 0 px floating a new theory about the birth of our solar system a new study says that it could have formed in the bubbles produced by a giant long dead star which was more than 40 to 50 times the size of our own sunday despite the many impressive discoveries humans have made about the universe scientists are yet to come to a consensus about the birth story of our solar system document right if isis banner is equal to is equal to free and display con banner is equal to is equal to one document right Google letter CMD push function Google letter define out of page slot forward slash six five one six two three nine forward slash out of page underscore one x one underscore desktop div gpt at one four nine zero seven seven one two seven seven one nine eight minus zero at service Google letter poobards Google letter poobards enable sync rendering good letter enable services the general prevailing theory is that our solar system formed billions of years ago near a supernova but the new scenario detailed in the astrophysical journal instead begins with a giant type of star called a wolf red star they burn the hottest of all stars producing tons of elements which are flung off the surface in an intense stellar wind as the wolf red star sheds its mass, the stellar wind plows through the material that was around it, forming a bubble structure with a dense shell. The shell of such a bubble is a good place to produce stars, because dust and gas become trapped inside where they can condense into stars, said study co-author Nicholas Doffas, professor at University of Chicago in the U.S. The researchers estimate that 1 to 16 percent of all Sunday-like stars could be formed in such stellar nurseries. The study addresses a nagging cosmic mystery about the abundance of two elements in our solar system compared to the rest of the galaxy. Meteorites left away from the early solar system suggests there was a lot of aluminium-26. In addition, Studies increasingly suggest we had less of the isotope iron minus 60. This brings scientists up short, because supernovae produce both isotopes. It begs the question of why one was injected into the solar system and the other was not, said co-author Vikram Dwarkadas from University of Chicago. This brought the scientists to Wolfred stars which release lots of aluminium minus 26 but no iron minus 60 as for the fate of the giant wolf red star the researchers believe that its life ended long ago likely in a supernova explosion or a direct collapse to a black hole dash i n s g b forward slash vm this story has not been edited by business standard staff and is auto-generated from a syndicated feed.